welcome back to Angels Light to Row. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your monthly general message for June 2021. Now, this is not a love message. However, if love does pop up, we will look into that energy. All right, angels, we're looking for positive energy for lovely, lovely Scorpio. Angels, what's the energy around Scorpio for the month of June 2021? High vibrations. Thank you, thank you, thank you for Scorpio. Hmm, let's, I feel like we need to add one more. I feel like one more. Angels, high vibrations for Scorpio for the month of Come on, angels. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. What is going on, Scorpio? Let's get some more. Let's get some. Let's add my mama's deck here, okay? Angels, high vibrations for lovely, lovely Scorpio. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there we go. Moving on to the dragon's deck. Yes. Mm, the dragon's deck. We're looking for positive energy. And yes, these are all upright to get out all the positive energy that we can. Oops, remember what goes on the floor stays on the floor. High vibrations, love, 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 and joy for lovely Scorpio. Hmm. And we are topping it off with the Buddha deck. Yes, we are. High vibrations, looking for more insight for. Ah! For Scorpio for the month of June 2021. And if you're looking for love, we will, yes, we will be doing adding those messages soon. All right, now let's go ahead and take a peek into your month. So the major theme for the month, Scorpio, is the King of Cups reversed with the Jack of Clubs defense. Ace of Clubs and Gratitude. All right. All right. Scorpio, the King of Cups. I feel like this is a month that you are really not controlling your emotions this month. With the Jack of Clubs, there's a bit of, uh, I want to say, there's a bit of fun playfulness. That's the word I'm looking for. There's a bit of playfulness going on and you're defending that playfulness. This is a new you and you're grateful that you are not taking things so seriously, okay? You're like, look, look, when I did take things seriously, it got me into a lot of trouble. Now I'm just like, yeah, what's the, what's the humor? I see you trying to find the humor in any situation that comes around, all right? All right, now let's take a peek at your recent past. You have the seven of pentacles reversed with the 10 of clubs, gratitude, two of clubs, and now, right? So in the recent past, I feel like you had um, put in a lot of work and you were willing to put in more work. You were willing to step up. You wanted to be successful. You were grateful that you had, I feel like, I feel like you were grateful for those people that were cl the closest to you in your life. And I feel like they were always, they always seem to be available. Those people that are, they just always seem to be available to you. All right. Now you're like, okay, Dora. All right. This is kind of a boring reading. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't feel like there's much drama. Okay. And you're like, where's the drama? Now let's look in the middle of the month and see if we can find something to shake things up because everything seems to be a okay. Now, when we look in the middle of the month, we have the queen of swords reversed with the five of hearts and moderation, four of hearts and oh my gosh, sameness. Ah, yes, 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 yes. You can't make this up. Now, in the middle of the month with the queen of swords uh, reversed, I don't see you making yeah, you're like, I'm, I'm not fighting. I'm just not fighting this. This is a change for you. This is definitely a change for you. It's It's been happening slowly over time, and now you're here. There is a bit of security in this. You're feeling like, yeah, this is a good place to be where you don't necessarily get bothered by certain people. With the sameness, yeah, you're kind of just... Um, you're just at a low hum. <laughs> and that's kind of not 
like Scorpio. It's just kind of not, but you're finding your peace. You're finding your 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 jam in all of this. Yeah, yeah. You're just like mm, the rest of the world is doing this and this and this. and you're like hum. I'm in a long. All right, now, when we look at the end of the month, we have the Ace of Cups with the Nine of Diamonds, Illusion, the Joker, and Laughter. Oh my gosh. All right, so Pisces, I see a new beginning coming. Some of you, some of you may even be getting a proposal, right? Some of you may be getting a proposal, but with the Nine of Diamonds, I don't see you attached to it. You're like, eh. <laughs> eh, um, I don't believe it. I hear you saying, I don't believe it. You're, you're like with the Joker, I'll believe it when I see it. And I see you actually laughing about it. Like, yeah, okay. All right. Now, for those of you that are not, you know, this new relationship, I feel like we're a new beginning in love. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, but it can very well be, right? Now, for you, for maybe it's, maybe it's a new relationship. Maybe it's someone offering love. Maybe it's somebody offering marriage. But maybe it's someone in your world that was emotionally shut down, right? And they're offering you emotional satisfaction. They're connecting with you more. They're wanting to talk to you more and things of that nature. And you're like, eh, it won't last. But I'm okay with it. I hear you saying, I'm, I'm, you know what? You don't have to talk to me. I'm, I'm good. I'm so good. And if someone offers, like if, let's say it's a, a child and they, they've kind of been shut down for a while and now all of a sudden they've just da 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 and you're like, well, this isn't going to last. <laughs> you know, this isn't going to last. I'm not so sure this is going to last. And if someone is offering you marriage or, or they're saying, let's get married, you're like, yeah, you said that last month and then we, then it, nothing, nothing ever happened. So I'm like, okay. All right. All right, all right, let's take a piece. Let's see, this, 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 mm, you're just humming along. You're not, you're not being bothered by anything, okay? Now, when we look at your bonus, you have the judgment card, you have the king of swords reversed, the seven of diamonds, success, seven of clubs, and liberation. Wow, wow, wow. Judgment. Okay, so your bonus, your bonus is telling me that this is judgment time. This is a wake up call. And I feel like the wake up call is the king of swords reverse. It's like you're not trying to push anything anymore. You're allowing it to happen when the universe says it'll happen. And the more with the seven of diamonds that you do that, the more abundance just falls into your lap. Whatever you attach abundance to, whether it's time spent, whether it's money, whether it's career, whether it's family, whatever it is, you're not pushing it. You're allowing the universe to give it to you whenever it gives it to you. And that is when the success comes. So stop chasing the, the proverbial rabbit, if you will. Yeah, let that rabbit turn around and chase you. Now, the seven of clubs is telling me that you don't have a care in the world. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And that is your liberation. That is your joy. I see this month nothing, no one is bothering you. If there, if something comes up, you're like, okay. If something doesn't happen and you thought it was going to happen, okay. Uh, and and it's, a, it's almost like you're saying, you know what? You know what? Okay, I can't control anything. I can't control love. I can't control money. I can't control this. I can't control that. And you're like, and when, when crazy things happen during the month where it would have bothered you before, it's not bothering you this month. This month, you're kind of going literally with the flow. And there are going to be people around you that are going to be shocked by your response. Because instead of you getting upset, you're going to say, okay, all right. And somebody says, well, you didn't get the job. I'm like, okay, all right. I didn't think it was going to come in. <laughs> like I, I mean that's not the way to respond but it's kind of like okay maybe that's not maybe that wasn't the job for me or maybe you're wanting um to um maybe you wanted to move or something of that nature or you're trying to buy a house or something and you didn't get it you outbid it or something like that and you're like okay well maybe that wasn't a home for me <laughs> right that's your whole attitude for the month and the more that you do that the more that it's just like it's like letting go it's like layers of skin you're releasing you're releasing okay okay let it go i'm giving it 
I'm laying, you know that old spiritual, laying your troubles down by the riverside. Not only are you laying them down, you're kind of sweeping them away as if they didn't even exist in the first place. You have this attitude of, it's okay. There's something better coming my way. It's okay. There's something better coming my way. I just feel it. And that attitude, that energy is going to bring something more. It's liberating you. It's, it's, you're changing. You're definitely changing. And it's going to bring abundance in such a big way that you're not, it's going to shock you because you weren't expecting it. Not that you didn't want it, but you didn't get what you wanted. So you kind of, all right, wasn't for me, wasn't for me. And the more you do that, you will find during the month, you, the more you find that you do that, the more things fall into your lap. The more what you really want shows up. So let's say you bid on a house and you didn't get it, you were outbid it. And you go, okay, hypothetically speaking, air quotes, okay, well, another house comes and it's bigger, it's better, and maybe it's for um, a lesser price or, or something of that nature. So apply that theory to your month. So just let it go, just let it go, don't get upset, don't, don't, don't do it. There is a new beginning coming, a beautiful new beginning. You got to, I feel like I feel like what, what, whatever new beginning comes and then it doesn't work out, just laugh it off and say, next, next. That, that's your thing, next, next. All right, next. Maybe one of those next, I feel, as long as you believe that there will be a next, one of those next, that will be it, okay? And you'll be so happy and you can be so thankful for un answered prayers or unanswered, undeveloped things that you wanted because something bigger, something better, something that you really didn't even know you wanted is coming, okay? So I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.